All right, Stephen, we're going to turn a little bit to virtualization because Verge.io, the company formerly known as Yottabyte, announced a new piece of virtual hardware to add to their virtual data center offerings this week. They now offer virtual GPUs for use in composable compute infrastructure and HCI. Now, why would they want to do something like that? Well, it turns out that there are increasing needs in research, especially around machine learning, AI, and a lot of sci complex scientific algorithmic calculations. This really spurred Verge.io to begin offering this service to their customers. Um, but Stephen, since you're someone who's very up on HCI and composable infrastructure, is this something that's going to add power to their offerings for their customers? Or are their customers going to be like, yeah, we don't really need this? Yeah, I think the story here is not that Verge.io added GPU support, but that Verge.io exists. Uh, this is a company who a lot of people just haven't heard of. But uh, frankly, I'm actually impressed by these guys technologically. So essentially what we've got here is, as you mentioned, the, the remains of a storage virtualization startup from a decade ago that, uh, and, and, and it was a good product. Uh, it, was, it was developed well. Uh, Stephen's law is never trust any storage product that doesn't have at least six years of development into it. This has many years of development into it. So it's a pretty good storage layer. And essentially what happened was after they realized that a storage virtualization product wasn't going to go anywhere, the team uh, tore it down and said, well, you know, this is a great base for uh, hyperconvergence. If you think about it, uh, think of your favorite hyperconvergence solution, whether it's uh, you know scale computing or Nutanix or something built on uh, VMware. All of them have a, a, comp a competent storage layer at the base, and that's what's important in order to make a scalable virtualized uh, server in a box or data center in a box. Well, that's what Verge.io has. And so uh, when I talked to them earlier this month, uh, my advice to them was basically don't lean out of the Yottabyte connection, lean into it. This is a good product. It was, it was well-developed, and they've built a really interesting virtual data center product on top of it. Now, is it the next uh, big thing? Is it going to revolutionize everything? No. But is it a very valuable, useful solution that allows you to run a bunch of virtual machines in a hyper-converged way on all sorts of hardware from the very low end to, honestly, pretty solid now that they've got GPU and networking support? Yeah, it's a pretty good product. And so if you're thinking, uh, hey, I've got a whole bunch of uh, manufacturing uh, that needs to have a data center in a box or uh, retail or you know, just different uh, environments like that where you need to be able to deploy a uh, virtual data center that has uh, scalability, that has the ability as now to include a GPU if needed, that can synchronize data from site to site, well, I think Verge.io is worth a look. So... To me, I think that's the real benefit of uh, this announcement. 